Hello everyone, in this video we are going to take a look at the new DJI OM5, also known as the Osmo 5. This is a portable gimbal for your smartphone and it allows you to make super smooth videos. We start this video with an unboxing and as you are used to from DJI, everything looks neat. The gimbal itself is very small and it fits easily in your pocket. It is available in two colors, sunset white and endance grey like the one we have in this video. There is also a tripod in the box, which I find very useful. You can also get a magnetic phone clamp to attach your smartphone to the DJI OM5. And you get a charging cable and attachment for a smaller phone. You put the OM5 together very simply. You turn it as I show in this video and then you can unfold it by folding the arm upwards. With the tripod it's just a matter of tightening as it is the case with most tripods. And yes, it's also easy to attach your smartphone to the magnetic phone clamp. In my case, it also works with an iPhone 11 Pro Max with a smartphone cover. And after that, it's just a matter of magnetism to attach your smartphone to the DJI OM5. The OM5 shoots video in uh, portrait mode and in landscape mode, and it's just a matter of pressing a button to change this. The biggest innovation compared to the older Osmo 4 is the newly added extension rod and it extends to about 8.5 inch or 21.5 centimeters. That doesn't seem a lot for a selfie stick, but this allows you to take shots from a different angle. I'm very happy with this and I don't mind at all that the battery life is now 6 hours. That's good enough for me. It also has Active Track 4 and that works insanely well. This keeps the subject of your video clearly visible, as demonstrated in this video. Also, I think that shot guides are a nice addition. This will teach you how to others take certain gimbal shots. These previews stay small on the screen while you create your own video. I haven't seen all of the guides yet, but I definitely plan to do so. I really like the whole form factor of the gimbal. It's very small, so you can take it easily with you. To me, that's a big, big plus. This assembling the gimbal doesn't take a lot of time. Just remove your phone, and if you use the extension rod, just push it back with a little bit of force. Folding the gimbal is also easy, but I just wish that the lock would have been a bit stronger, because now it's still possible that the arm swings open. DJI supplies the OM5 with a simple storage bag, where you can put everything. And now that the OM5 is all stowed away, it's time to take it outside to shoot some video footage for the comparison. Let's go! As you can see, smartphones are getting better at preventing video shake, but a gimbal like the DJI OM5 will make your videos look even smoother. The OM5 is also a lot lighter than the OM4 and definitely lighter compared to its bigger brother for mirrorless cameras. Sometimes I just don't feel like carrying all the heavy gear with me. In those cases, the OM5 is really extremely nice to take with you because it only weighs about 0.65 pounds or 290 grams. It's nothing. The extension rod gives you a little bit more reach for different video perspectives. But you have to sacrifice something for it, because the gimbal doesn't rotate 360 degrees anymore. Also, during storage you have to be careful not to lose the magnetic phone clamp, because it cannot stick to the OM5 while folded. 
to sum my thoughts up, and you might have guessed it, I really like the OM5. It's easy to take with you, it's small and light, and mounting your phone is very quickly. There is only one thing that I'm sad about, and that is that the advertised magnetic clamp with built-in lights is sold separately. And I think that's a little bit too expensive for now. It's just too bad you didn't get it right away. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Did I miss something about the OM5? Then please share it with me in the comments. And also, if you want to see more of this content, please subscribe to my channel. Cheers!